Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. Today we'll be trying once again to win with the mono blue Eldrazi deck. And uh, hopefully we do win with the mill if possible, but I don't know. Let's see, Captain Punky, level 5 opponent. Should be fun. Okay, so we don't have enough lands, but I'm still gonna keep this hand in hopes that we draw into some more lands. So let's just start off with Skyland Cascade and an island so I can get Mist Intruder out as soon as possible. By the way, to any of you guys who are watching these videos, you know, thank you guys so much for watching them. It really means a lot to me, especially, you know, sometimes you have, have a really, really shitty day at work like I did today. Uh, today's Monday, by the way. Uh, you know, it feels really good to be able to come home and know that you can be doing something that you really enjoy and well you guys have been a great audience great you know supporters and you've been leaving great comments so thank you guys so much for everything that you do i honestly appreciate it and you know you make my life better so thanks for that you guys we did not draw into the lands holy crap anyways we're swinging we don't care about the opponent gaining life here anyway Really hope we draw into the land here so we can play uh, Sphinx Tutelage as soon as possible and then uh, jump right into the Bentley Infiltrator. Well, at least we have Horrible Aria up just in case if our opponent decides to play something there. He does not. That's a little bit unnerving, but it's okay. So let's play Sphinx Tutelage. And let's swing once more. There we are. Okay, now we need one more land for the horrible uh, to have the bond to ash and everything else. Up. Okay, let me see what the opponent's got here. Hmm, it's a ramp deck with the blue. That's quite interesting. Wonder what the opponent can really do here. So inspiration, he's digging for some lands or some creatures, maybe even who knows. Okay. Let's mill our opponent. Oh crap, this is, oh, I mean, not crap. <laughs> I mean, ho holy crap, it's amazing. Double Sphinx Tutelage, okay. So this milling process is gonna be extremely rapid. We got Titan's Presence destroyed. Wow. Wow, we're gonna be able to mill. The only unfortunate part is that I think opponent has a very crappy deck. So he's also an Eldrazi, but he's a blue green Eldrazi of some sort. Interesting. Okay, so opponent will be playing some creature probably. Oh, telling time. Okay then. Oh, this is very important then. I think opponent's getting something into his hand. So we have to have horrible Ari up. Just so we'll be able to counter whatever it is our opponent chooses to play. Okay. So mill our opponent. Kinda sucks that we don't have counterman, but it's okay. Milled our opponent. What else does he have here? Wow, he has... That's an interesting deck he's got going on anyways. So let's swing for one. We're very rapidly milling our opponent. And Horrible Array is gonna be very useful here, I think. Okay, so we milled our opponent some more. Not going to play Infiltrator going to keep the horrible Ari up just in case if our opponent plays something here with less than four mana hopefully ah crap I can't do anything with so that's a drowner of hope uh, okay it's a 5-5 five five. that I do not like really so we're taking one point of damage here now a real race has begun and the biggest issue that we have for ourselves here is that we don't have the damn lands. If we had the lands, we could have used Bonchuash to take care of the Drowner of Hope, but yeah, now the Drowner real like, this thing has really drowned all our hopes. So let's play the Infiltrator. I will wait for opponent to swing with the Drowner of Hope, and when he does, I'll use Skyline Cascade to tap him down, thus hopefully buying us some more turns. Okay, let's swing. Let's see. Well... One thing I haven't seen yet is our opponent having really large Eldrazi creatures, so 
I wonder if he has Ulamog there or something like that. Okay, so the opponent will swing once more. I will be taking the 5 damage and probably blocking one of his Skions or something. And hopefully he doesn't have another Drown or Pop or something horrifying there. Because then that means we lose the game. Come on. Guess he's thinking what you do. So, Drowner of Hope. Wait, what? Tap target creature, so this... Okay. I was going to let him swing anyways, and if he swung with the ski on that... Well, that's a little bit silly. Anyways, well, he doesn't realize what I was gonna do. Which was probably a very inefficient play, but still. So, there we go. We're down to 12 health here. And let's see what we draw into. Well, opponent still has something he can play. Chooses not to. Okay, so we tap our opponent farther. There we are, and there we are. Skyline Cascade on this guy, and another Infiltrator. And turn after that, we'll have any counters that we want, which is good. So here we are, inspiration, opponent seeks for stuff, that is fine, swing, whoa he had the breaker of armies, okay, ruined processor, oh no, I think our opponent's getting to ulamog level there now, that's not good, so opponent's down to 21 cards, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana currently. That's ninth one. I'm pretty sure he has Ulamok or Desolation Twin in there. I wonder if I can counter Ulamok or Desolation Twin. Well, we've got a bunch of counters, so... <gasps> no! 8-9 Trample. Oh, God. That is not good, guys. Okay, opponent... Does not swing, probably. Ah, uh, the only way we messed up this is just because we didn't have any lands in time. If we had the lands in time, this would have gone way, way differently. Okay, so let's do this. Next turn, we'll be taking lots of damage, so... At least I'll try to get Hydro Lash up when draw a card and mill our opponent. So, not attacking, moving on. Actually, I think I should have attacked, milled him down to 12. Because if I use Hydro Lash, let's see, that would be 6 plus 3 damage, that's 9 damage, we would have been at 3 health there. Yeah, we would have been at 3 health, but then uh, our opponent would have been at 12 lands. Displacement wave. Oh, all of these get returned back to my hand, is it? For 3. So all of these go back to my hand. Unless if I do countermand, but then I'll be taking too much damage, so no, I have to stick to... Yeah, I really should have attacked there. So these go back to my hand, that's fine. So... Oh boy. I should have used Hydro Lash quicker. Anyways. Yeah, we lost this game, guys. Ah, crap! And wait, shouldn't Hydro Lash... Doesn't matter. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this game. And uh, we'll go to game number two. And we're back for game number two. Game number one, I was a little bit too optimistic. And, well, I don't know if our deck is doing too well. So let me know, guys, what you think about this deck. It's, uh, well, I made it on a whim, but I'm regretting that. So level two blood sport. Okay, uh... Well, we've got more lands this time, so let's keep this hand. Hopefully it does a little bit better for us. Salvage Tron. We can do Foundry, Island, into Sphinx Tutelage. We have Inspiration, which is great. And let's see what our opponent is. Okay, white. Oh boy, Elite one card. Well, okay, I'll still swing, see if our opponent wants to exchange or not. 
Okay, let's play uh, Founder of the Consoles, Mist Intruder. Here we are. Let's swing, see what the opponent does. He takes it, that's good. So a card gets exiled. Maybe that will shine some light on what he's playing. Whoa, an enhancement deck. I think it's a mono white enhancement. Hmm. Yep, it is a mono white enhancement. This our deck isn't as great against mono white enhancements, so we're in big trouble here, guys. So let's take the three damage. No. Wait, what? What? Um. Well, I'm just gonna play Sphinx Tutelage then. Not too sure what's going on there, but I can attack with Salvage Drone and get to draw a card and then discard a card. But no, let's move on. I don't have any cards I want to discard just yet. Okay, Solemn Offering. He's going to destroy an enhancement. Damn it! That sucks. That really sucks. And uh, I'm not too sure why our opponent's not attacking here. It's a little bit... Let's just say I'm a little bit frustrated by that fact. So let's just play the Infiltrator. That's all I'm offering. Jeez, are we ever gonna get a good game with this deck? Everyone's mopping the floor with us here. So there's Helios Pilgrim, he's gonna to get some other enhancements to put on his elite one card there. Okay, divine fiber. That's gonna go into the white card for sure. Ah, jeez. Okay, opponent still does not swing. I'm not sure what the heck is going on there. Let's do inspiration on ourselves. Draw some cards. Merc Strider. Really not sure what's happening here, guys. I think it's two people who don't know how to play magics are playing against each other. He definitely doesn't know what the hell he's doing, and I think I don't know either. Just because of this deck. So, opponent swings, I take it. Let's just go. Okay, there we go. Four damage to our face. Coastal Discovery we can play, this works Strider, which is, what creature can I get? I don't have any creatures. Can do Mist Intruder, and then have the Hydro Lash up, or I can just do Coastal Discovery, which I think I'll do Coastal Discovery. So let's pay up. We drew into an island, that's good, so Mist Intruder. we go and let's just swing and swing okay opponent takes damage cards get exiled ah jeez I really think we lost this one guys especially with this 4-6 flyer out there Yeah, if we don't win any games in this episode, guys, I'm actually thinking of uh, stopping this deck. Not really worth it. The concept of it seemed a little bit fun, but I don't know if it's possible to execute it too properly. So, Sphinx Tutelage and let's keep up Hydro Lash. We'll swing with uh, pretty much, yeah, let's just swing with everything. I mean, why not? Opponent will be jump blocking salvage drone here, hopefully. Yep. I'll draw a card and discard a card. I'm fine with that. I'll discard the Merc Strider.
there we are, here we are. And let's do this. Yes. I will discard Mark Strider. Sphinx Digital is shooting up on its face. Okay, let's move on. We'll have the Hydro Lash next turn. Okay, Solemn. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's no way I'm winning this now. Ah, oh, jeez, this is ridiculous, guys. Okay, we do this. Like, it makes a difference, really. Okay, so we just take two damage to the face here. And move on. Okay, we have countermand. Okay, we have three lands we can play here and keep the countermand up. So let's play the infiltrator. And let's just swing with everything and keep up the countermand. Just for shits and giggles. Even though we've lost this, I don't know why I'm even bothering with this. Yeah, we've lost this game, guys. I'm not gonna steal any more of your time. Anyways, thank you for watching this game, and I'll see you guys in game number three. And we're back. The last game of this episode. By the way, guys, I have to apologize. I looked at the game number two, and I could have used Merc Strider to send back the opponent's uh, creature, get all the enhancements to drop from it, and we would have been successful. I mean, I really think we could have won that game, but the stupidity I had. Oh my god, that was so bad. Anyways, let's keep this hand. Uh, once again, I'm sorry guys, I really messed up on that game. Okay, we have a decent hand. Enough lands, I guess, enough decent cards. I'll play an island and have the horrible RE up, just in case if our opponent plays something there. Or, you know what? Let's just play Mist Intruder. Here we are. Drowned Catacombs and... Wow! Not bad, not bad at all. Maybe should have kept a horrible area. I don't know. Either way, it's fine. So, you know what? Let's move on. Not going to attack yet. I want our opponent to attack and I want to use Skyline Cascade afterwards. So then we have a chance to sneak in and attack there. Okay, Sphinx Tutelage. Wow, we are up against the uh, Mill deck too. Nice. Only a different variation of it, but still. Okay, so opponent attacks. I'll skip blocking and take the damage. And use Skyline Cascade now. Okay. Here we go. So there is the Skyline Cascade. Up on the opponent. Next up we have Horrible Ari up. Just in case if our opponent chooses to do anything that is. Swing. Spell Shrivel. Hmm. That's not bad either. So after Horrible Ari we'll have a Spell Shrivel up too. Okay then. So we get milled unfortunately. Wow. Opponent is a zombie deck. He can even mill himself if he chooses to. Inspiration. Oh no you... Oh, I cannot. It's a creature spell I can counter. Ah, jeez. Let's get milled some more. Hopefully it's not Sphinx Tutelage we get milled for. Phew. Well, that's okay. Sphinx Tutelage. Yay! I know we could have kept the spell shrivel up, but we need this. We really need this. So let's do this. Okay. Opponent's down to 18. We are milled more than our opponent is milled. But thanks to our opponent's milling, we ended up getting Sphinx Tutelage relatively quickly. So there is the milling. Another horrible array. That's fine. There is Chase that comes out, also fine. Ok, 
Okay. Next up, I'll have Spell Shriveler and Horrible Ari up, which is good. So I'll take 2 damage and move on. Now we mill our opponent. And holy crap, I can even have. I can have more than that up. Okay, so let's play Rogue's Passage here. And let's just swing. Here we are. Okay. So 43 cards versus 40. And let's just move on. Now we have so many good things to do. We're gonna get milled some more here. Let's see what we got milled for here. Ah, nothing important, so that's fine. Okay, opponent chooses what you do here. Spell shrivel is good, Avery is good, Bond to Wash and Countermand are also excellent. Opponent's thinking really hard here. Necromantic Thirst. Okay, now we can do Spell Shrivel. Let's do Spell Shrivel, shall we? I know I could have done countermand and milled our opponent even more, but I'm in no great haste right now, so it's okay. And Jace is going to come out, which is fine. Okay. I wonder if Mist Intruder has... Yep, we get milled some more. One thing I'm very curious here, if our opponent, like Mist Intruder gets 0, zero will he be able to swing or not? Hmm. That's an interesting choice. Anyways, let's see. What did we get? Nothing serious, really. Okay, we take two damage. That is fine. And we'll swing with the Mist Intruder after. So, Jace will come out next turn, that's for sure. And once that happens, the thing I'm the most curious about here is... Uh... Okay, let's swing. So if Mr. Intruder, and he uses Jace's ability to give Mr. Intruder zero, uh, minus 2, minus 0, oh. and he has 0, well, minus 1, 2, and he swings at the opponent, will the ingest still trigger or not? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, we get milled now. 37 versus 35. Well, 33 now versus 37. Let's see what the opponent does here. Oh, oh, stop. Stop right there. Whew. We draw a card and mill our opponent. Yay! We have double counter, man. Holy crap, this is gonna work out wonderfully. As long as uh, Vulcan turn doesn't kill us, that is. <laughs> Which is also a possibility, so... Jace is gonna come out now. Excellent, and let's see This is an interesting deck the opponent has going for himself Okay, Bentley Infiltrator, Sphinx Tutelage We get milled some more Now there is the Jace So opponent will be swinging for two, of course We will have double countermand, Horrible Ari still up Hydro Lash, so many great things up. That's wonderful. Okay, of course. So now if I swing, this is what I'm curious about. What's going to happen there? Will the ingest trigger or not? That's what I want to know. And this will be an interesting experiment too. Okay, 34 versus 30. So far so good. So we mill our opponent some more. Let's move on to attack phase and swing. Okay, we swing there. What like this? Okay, yeah. Ingest does not trigger. Damn, that sucks. Okay. So we get milled. We have countermands here, which is good. Whoa. Hop! Countermand! Yay! 
four cards into graveyard. 27 versus 27. Nice. I like it. Okay, this is going pretty interestingly, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the debuff, that's fine. The opponent swings at us. I'm just going to keep Mr. Intruder for blocking then. No point in playing him since uh, Injustice gonna tr uh, will not trigger anyway. Okay. I really hope we can start drawing into more lands. This is a little bit depressing here. <laughs> well, with this, now we can have Hydro Lush and Horrible Ari up, just in case. Not attacking. And let's move on. The other countermand here is our saving grace. Okay, what else got? Whoa. Still no Sphinx's tutelage here. Which means there's still a chance we can get Sphinx tutelage. Necromantic summons. Well, he's choosing what you get, but he can't. Little does he know, we have another countermand. Well, make your choice, come on. Countermand! Haha. -ha. I wonder what he was trying to summon from here. Oh, Oblivion Sower. Very sneaky. Okay then. Anyways, we'll be, he'll be swinging, I'll just jump block here. Might as well. Our opponent is very close to getting Jace's ability out, and that's a little bit unnerving here for me, but... Not much I can do there. So we still have Hydro Lash up. We mill our opponent. We can do Coastal Discovery and like turbo mill our opponent. So let's just do that. Since it's a sorcery. I know you guys told me to learn how to play instance, but uh, I don't know. Let's go. Oh! Sphinx Tutelage and a land. Oh, that's that's excellent. Mist Intruder. Here we are. And let's move on. Now, we have Sphinx Tutelage that will play next turn. And we'll have Hydro Lash up. Wait, do we have enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, Sphinx Tutelage is Hydro Lash. Oh boy. Okay, guys. The game is drawing too close. Oh, Guardian of the Zim, Landfall. He can tap a creature whenever a land enters. Okay, we'll just take this 2 damage. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna just take the two damage, I don't mind. Sphinx Tutelage with Hydro Lash is gonna be just beautiful. And we still didn't draw into the third Sphinx Tutelage, so that's another interesting thing to observe there. See? I don't see any, okay. Anyways, we mill our opponent. We play the island. We play the Sphinx Tutelage and we keep up the Hydro Lash here. Or even a Horrible Ari in this case, doesn't matter. I think we can do this guys, I think we can do this. So if I use Hydro Lash I'll be just taking 2 damage to my face here. Oh boy, this is a really close game. A really wonderful game too. Okay, so opponent's going to use Jace's ultimate. What? Come on! Okay then, he taps this, that's fine, that's just fine, we have Hydro Lash up. So opponent's hopping. Okay, that's fine, opponent's going to swing here. Okay, Hydro Lash. Woo! Excellent, let's mill our opponent. Okay. Okay guys, so far so good. Next up I can use Sphinx Tutelage ability and draw a card and discard a card just to make sure our opponent's fully milled. And, well, doesn't matter, we win this. Holy crap, the mill has worked. Okay, well there's going to be episode number 3, that's for sure guys. Okay, so let's just play an island, play, you know what, let's just pass the turn. We win this guys. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this, this was very entertaining for me at least, I don't know about you, but I love this last episode. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, 
And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be called Agro Jesus. Bye!